Before this video starts, I'd just like to make an announcement. I have the Liberal Tears mug uh, for $14.99 on my website. It is the first link in the description if you want to go pick one up. Um, don't worry if it breaks when it comes to your house. I'll send you another one for free out of my pocket. I don't care. I want you to get your Liberal Tear mug. Uh, it comes in uh, Liberal Tears white with the face, black with the face, white without the face, and black without the face. So pick whichever one you want, and it'll come to your door uh, in about three to five days. So that should be epic. First link in the description. Thank you. Let's go on with the video. We begin with what is hilarious video. James O'Keefe, uh, who is constantly ripped by the news media because they don't like that he goes undercover to do his journalism. He was originally responsible for breaking ACORN, the, the community organizing organization responsible for pushing left-wing agenda. James O'Keefe has now dropped a video of CNN senior producer John Bonifield. Uh, John Bonifield, I guess he's a senior health producer or something, but he's a senior producer talking candidly about CNN's treatment of the Trump administration generally and Trump-Russia collusion allegations specifically, and it's just spectacular stuff. Here is from James O'Keefe's Project Veritas, CNN producer John Bonifield, basically acknowledging and agreeing that all of our preconceptions about CNN's bias and their agenda are exactly right. So you believe like the Russia thing's a little crazy, right? Even if Russia was trying to swing an election, I, we try to swing their elections. We're in our CIA and doing it all the time. Like we're out there trying to manipulate governments. Like you win because you know the you you, you know the game and you play it right. She didn't play it right. Then why is CNN constantly like Russia this, Russia that? Because it's ratings. Because it's ratings. Our ratings are incredible right now. But honestly, you you think the whole Russia. It's just like bullshit. Could be bull. I mean, we, it's mostly bull right now. Like we don't have any big giant proof. I just feel like they don't really have it, but they they want to keep digging. Mm -hmm. And so I think the president is probably right to say, like, look, you are witch hunting me. Like, you have no smoking gun. You have no real proof. And the CEO of CNN said in our internal meeting, he said, good job, everybody, covering the climate accords. But we're done with it. Let's get back to Russia. <laughs> okay, so he's saying a bunch of things here that we already knew. Number one, CNN is focusing on Russia for the ratings, which is obvious. I mean, they focused on Malaysian flight MH370 for like three years and had Don Lemon talking about black holes opening up in the sky to eat flights. <laughs> Because Don Lemon doesn't know anything. So it's it's not a shock that they've been focusing on Russia. And this is true, right? If you, it doesn't matter what's going on in the news. If you turn over to CNN, what you get is Trump-Russia. And the reason is because CNN has pr been providing wish fulfillment for the far left for months now. The wish fulfillment is that Trump w is going to get caught colluding with Russia. He'll somehow be ousted. As Sally Cohn says, we'll have a special election, then Hillary Clinton will be president. Okay, that's what CNN has been doing for literally months. This has been their agenda. It has raised their ratings. When there actually is news to break, then CNN's ratings are good. When there's no no news to break and they're just spouting about Russia still, then there's not, like tonight, I think, CNN is supposed to be running a special about Trump, Russia, the big story. And it, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. And Bonnefeld is, is honest enough to admit that, although he probably wouldn't have admitted it if he knew he was on tape. When he says that, that Jeff Zucker, uh, the head of CNN, told all the producers that when they were covering the Paris Climate Accords and Trump's pullout from them, they should get back to talking Russia because he wants the ratings again. This is just confirmation of what we already knew. Bonnefeld also said that if CNN had treated Obama like this, it wouldn't have gone over well at all because obviously their fans tend to like Obama, whereas they hate Trump. And so they have been wildly dishonest in how they've covered Trump. It's all true. Okay, everything that Bonnefield is saying is true, and all of it confirms what we already knew about CNN, which is that they are biasing their journalism in order to target President Trump. And he is right that they are on a President Trump is right that they are on a witch hunt. Now, that wasn't the only bad story for CNN last night. So CNN also fired three journalists responsible for a single-sourced anonymous story uh, that they broke at CNN.com. They were accusing Trump associate Anthony Scaramucci of being investigated by the Senate Intelligence Committee for contact with a Russian bank uh, a few days before the inauguration. CNN ended up retracting the story and firing the three journalists responsible for the story. Naturally, as my friend John Nolte points out, 
CNN also added that it's possible, quote, the facts of the story weren't necessarily wrong. So this is the Dan Rather approach. We're going to retract the story. We're going to fire the guy responsible. But it's possible that the facts were still correct. Okay, again, just the evidence of CNN's bias. So this, of course, sets off President Trump. And President Trump promptly tweets, quote, fake, C fake news CNN is looking at big management changes now that they got caught falsely pushing their phony Russian stories. Ratings way down. Well, the first half is true. The second half is not. The ratings are not way down. The ratings are actually way up because of all the conspiratorial bull crap. It would be better if the ratings were down because of all the conspiratorial bull crap, but they aren't. And then he says, wow, CNN had to retract big story on Russia with three employees forced to resign. What about all the other phony stories they do? Fake news. Again, totally fair. And then he said, you know, fake news, this, fake news, that, fake news. What about the Washington Post and the New York Times and ABC and NBC and CBS, right? So all of this, there is truth to this, obviously. CNN it has biases. They refuse to acknowledge their biases. It's one of the more annoying things about CNN. If they just said, listen, we're a left-wing outlet like MSNBC, like no one cares that MSNBC covers Russia incessantly because MSNBC is openly to the left. I mean, they're leaning forward, right? CNN pretends it's objective, which is why CNN is the easiest whipping boy in the media business. And I will say that CNN did more than, for example, the Trump administration has done when people in the administration have lied. They actually fired people forthwith. When this story came out, they fired three reporters. Now, does this mean that they're suddenly great at their jobs? No, but that's at least a form of accountability. Naturally, Fox News jumped on this as well, jumped on all of this. Tucker Carlson ripped CNN to their propaganda organization. Again, this is mostly right. It's been seven months, though, since Trump won the presidential election. Since then, precisely no evidence has emerged to support the claim that Trump somehow colluded with the Russian government in order to win the race. But you'd never know that from watching that channel, which has become home for conspiracists on the Russia question worldwide. Last February, to name yet another example, CNN produced a story accusing Trump associates of repeated contacts with Russian intelligence. That report turned out to be almost identical to a report by the New York Times that Jim Comey called out specifically for being grossly inaccurate. We could go on and on and on. Overall, 93% of CNN's coverage of the Trump administration has been negative. Okay, everything Tucker Nine, is saying here is three. true, that CNN is an anti-Trump machine. No question about it. And then Sean Hannity goes on TV last night and he calls for Jeff Zucker, the head of CNN, to be fired. He says, hey, CNN, when will you fire Zucker? He has destroyed the network with lies and very fake news. Very fake news. Now, again, I think that Sean calling for Zucker to be fired over the coverage at CNN is a mistake for Sean. I mean, I defended Sean over the Seth Rich stuff, not because I thought he was right on it, but because I don't like these kind of astroturfed boycotts where people end up losing their jobs because they don't like the way that somebody is covering the news. And here is Sean calling for Jeff Zucker to be fired over his coverage of the news. Again, I, I just the hypocrisy is a little much for me, um, but... Uh, is all this criticism of CNN fair? Absolutely, it's fair. But I do want to discuss whether the, the term fake news is useful or not anymore, because I'm not sure that it is useful. So when fake news was originally coined, the term fake news was originally coined, what it meant was a story that was outright false. So for example, that piece that CNN retracted, that was actual fake news, right? That was a piece of fake news. CNN's Russia collusion stuff, when they actually try to aver that there is collusion or evidence thereof, that is fake news. It is not fake news when they report a specific story about a Trump associate who had a contact with Russians and then it's verified. Right? It's not a fake story when CNN reports about what Trump said to Sergei Kislyak in the Oval Office. Right? That is not fake news. So we have to distinguish two types of news that people don't like. One type of news is news that is just the facts are wrong, right? That's actual fake news. We don't like those. Those, those are real fake news. And then there are stories where we don't like the angle the news is taking. We don't like the bias that's being infused into the news. And this is where I find trouble because, you know, President Trump, he's out there saying all these networks are, quote unquote, fake news, fake news. If you conflate these two categories, you make it so that it is impossible to have a common basis of fact for any sort of political conversation. So when he says CNN is fake news, I don't think that's right. I don't. I think that CNN is a wildly left news outlet that biases their coverage in tremendous ways. I don't think that's quote unquote fake news. You can say it's fake objective news, right? That's true. You can say it's non-objective news. That's true. But when you just say it's fake news, like everything you see on, see on CNN is false, that's not true. And this is coming from a guy who went on CNN in 2014 and said if Hamas could design a propaganda network, it would look a lot like CNN. This is in the middle of the Gaza war. So it's not like I have any great love and, and honor for CNN. I mean, for God's sake, I, I basically destroyed one of their main hosts on their on their show, right? I mean, I, I took Piers Morgan and destroyed him on CNN. I've ripped CNN on CNN multiple times. So this is not about defending CNN. This is about 
as the American public, how do we know what information we can trust and what information we can't? We sort of have the Vizzini problem. You remember from Princess Bride, where Vizzini gets into a, a battle of wits with Wesley, and Vizzini has the, the uh, Wesley takes Iocane powder and supposedly he puts it in one of the two cups, and then Vizzini, who's the cleverest man alive, according to Vizzini, uh, has to try and outwit him. And so he does, the, he does the whole, I'm not a great fool, so I can clearly not choose the line in front of you. But you must have known I was not a great fool, so you would, and you would have counted on it, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me, right? You, you remember that whole routine? What happens when President Trump routinely says things that are not true, or Sean Hannity says things about Seth Rich that are unverified? I mean, last night, Sean Hannity was still on Twitter going on, uh, saying he, he's still investigating the Seth, Seth Rich thing, which is, you know, come on. I mean, really, like, enough already. Like, you have no new evidence. You, you talk about Trump collusion, Trump Russia collusion has no evidence. You have no evidence on the, on the Seth Rich stuff, but you're still pursuing it and then claiming conspiracy theories on the other side. This is just about a little bit of intellectual honesty, folks. If you can't trust Trump and you can't trust Fox and you can't trust CNN, then who can you trust? And I'm not suggesting that you can trust me, by the way, to be unbiased, because I'm pretty open about my biases. I'm conservative, right? I'm conservative. That means that my coverage of the news is going to be infused with a certain level of conservative bias, for sure. But it is a mistake to label every single mainstream media outlet fake news as President Trump does, because it actually blows back on Trump. The next time CNN reports something that is true and Trump calls it fake news, Trump looks like a liar. He's right. He is right that all of these outlets are biased against him. He is right that they attack him in a way they never would have attacked President Obama. And I am glad that President Trump goes up against the media all the time. In my book, Bullies, I said this is exactly what politicians should do. But the point in Bullies was that you should, you should go after these outlets when they lie. You shouldn't just label the entire outlet completely uncredible and, and suggest that everything that they report is false because that's not actually true. Like, if you're going to defeat lies, you have to do it with truth. You can't, and if you're going to defeat bias, you have to do it by calling out the bias. You can't defeat bias by just saying that everything that somebody says that is biased is complete fake news and all lies and garbage. Right, well, right now what we have is Trump attacks combined with the media's drooling preoccupation with getting Trump. It ends up polarizing the narrative. Right now, I'm telling you because this is the world I live in, right now, people on the right will not believe a word that comes from CNN or the New York Times or the Washington Post, even though all of their favorite websites, you know, Breitbart, I used to work there, right? I was the ed I was editor at large there for four years. I was deeply involved in editorial for two of those four years. Breitbart, which is a very pro-Trump website, obviously, they rip half their news from the mainstream media, at least, okay? The notion that Breitbart is doing original reporting is not true. I mean, they, they do some original reporting, but the bulk of what they cover is a Breitbart angle on a news story that has been previously reported by CNN or the New York Times. The same thing is true in talk radio. And everybody in talk radio will acknowledge this, right? I mean, the fact is that when you listen to Rush, when you listen to Sean, half of Sean's coverage on his radio show is him reading an AP story and then deconstructing the AP story, trying to get to the fact. So pretending that all of the news is fake is just not true. And what you end up with is this bizarre situation where people on the right will only trust Fox News and people on the left will only trust CNN. And if they hear that something happened on Fox News, they go, oh, it's complete crap. Benghazi is a perfect example. Fox News was leading the, the charge in terms of uncovering material about Benghazi. And the left just said, oh, it's Fox News. Who cares? And then the right does the same thing with CNN. Every time there's a story bad for Trump, they say, oh, it's just CNN. Who cares? I want to talk about what we should do to defeat all of this, how you can watch the news and get more out of it. But first, I want to say thank you to our sponsors over at the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. So if you are somebody who wants to buy a gun or has a gun and lacks training, or you're afraid that you may become involved in a situation where, God forbid, somebody breaks in your house, you have to shoot them in self-defense, and then the police arrest you, that's what USCCA is for. They educate you, they train you, they make sure that you are legally and financially protected for after you pull the trigger, because it doesn't matter whether you're right or wrong, it's very possible you end up in the legal system anyway. And one of the things they're doing right now that is super cool is they're making sure that if you don't have a way to defend yourself, or if you just want a better way to defend yourself, you have five opportunities right now to win $1,776 for guns and ammo of your choice in honor of July 4th, right, 1776. They are going to give you $1,776 for the guns and ammo of your choice if you go and you, you have a chance to win that. If you go and register at defendmyfamilynow.com, defendmyfamilynow.com, you get five big chances to win $1,776 for any guns and ammo of your choice. Again, that's defendmyfamilynow.com for your free shot at that money. You have to hurry. It's not going to last long, obviously. July 4th is just around the corner. DefendMyFamilyNow.com. Right now, you get your big 
Five chances to win $1,776 for the guns and ammo of your choice. You should register there anyway because, of the, again, they have all of these resources for gun training and, and protection uh, that, against, against legal liability and all the rest of it. It's just it's a great organization. They're doing the stuff that gun owners need, and they're making sure that more people are uh, – they're making sure that more people know how to protect themselves and are capable of doing so legally when the time – if, God forbid, the time comes that you actually have to use the weapon against somebody. It's the USCCN. Go to DefendMyFamilyNow.com. A lot of people are murdered by our United States military for this country. How many fucking countries are we occupying right now for that flag? How many Native Americans died for that flag? How many? How many? Answer. You're real quiet now. We're talking about genocide. We're talking about colonialism. Genocide. How many people died installing communism in Russia? What the fuck does that have to do with that flag? How many people are dying right now because of our tax dollars? How many people are dying right now because of our tax dollars? No, they don't want to know how many. This country is based on genocide. How many people have died right now? You're standing with Nazis, bro. You're standing with Nazis. You're standing with Nazis. You're standing with Nazis. You're standing with Nazis. We fought in Hitler. We fought in Hitler. We fought in Hitler. We fought in Hitler. We fought against Nazis. You're a fucking Nazi. You're a fucking Nazi. You're a fucking Nazi. Say you're not. And why are you acting like one? Why are you acting like one? You wouldn't know what a Nazi was. Why are you acting like a fucking Nazi then? It's you, bro. Why are you here supporting Trump? Why do you support Trump? Answer that. Why do you support Trump? Why do you support Trump? Why do you support Trump? Mike Rodas, you got a bottle of water? Why do you support Trump? If you got, hang on a second, hang on a second. Listen, if you guys want, I'm listening. Very funny. We very fought funny. against Ray. Yeah, really? Watch out, Ed. No, fuck that. Wow. Yeah, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Oh, the hell out. We don't support fascism here. We are not for fascism. Trump is fascism. Trump is fascism. Nazis racist KKK. Nazis racist KKK. Trump's a Nazis racist KKK. Nazis racist KKK. Nazis racist KKK. I love him right here. Yeah, these eggs being thrown on the floor. It's because they love us. Don't you guys get it? They love Trump supporters. That's why they beat you up. That's why they fucking go in. Wow. Nazis racist KKK! 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 Nazis racist KKK!
out of here, man. Get out of here. 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 Do something, oh, bitch! This is this is peaceful protest. I got points. I got points. Would you die for a right to speak like this? Would you die for a right to speak like this? We don't have any right. We don't have the right to stand here and do this, don't you? And so do I. Es para la raza, es para la raza, puto. Eh, viva la raza, güey. Fuck up, Pelizzo. Fuck up, Pelizzo. Yeah, fuck you. Hello, everyone. Hey. I'm just stopping by to remind you that liberals are insane. <laughs> Social justice warriors are becoming more violent and triggered than ever before. Anyways, be sure to subscribe to KGP TV on YouTube and have a blessed day. Yeah, man. Before this video starts, I'd just like to make an announcement. I have the Liberal Tears mug uh, for $14.99 on my website. It is the first link in the description if you want to go pick one up. Um, don't worry if it breaks when it comes to your house. I'll send you another one for free out of my pocket. I don't care. I want you to get your Liberal Tear mug. Uh, it comes in uh, Liberal Tears white with the face, black with the face, white without the face and black without the face so pick whichever one you want and it'll come to your door uh, in about three to five days so that should be epic first link in the description thank you let's go on with the video we begin with what is hilarious video james o'keefe uh, who is constantly ripped by the news media because they don't like that he goes undercover to do his journalism he was originally but they they want to keep digging mm -hmm. and so i think the president is probably right to say like, look, you are witch hunting me. Like, you have no smoking gun. You have no real proof. And the CEO of CNN said in our internal meeting, he said, good job, everybody, covering the climate accords. But we're done with it. Let's get back to Russia. <laughs> Okay, so he's saying a bunch of things here that we already knew. Number one, CNN is focusing on Russia for the ratings, which is obvious. I mean, they focused on Malaysian flight MH370 for like three years and had Don Lemon talking about black holes opening up in the sky to eat flights. <laughs> Don Lemon doesn't know anything. So it's, it's not a shock that they've been focusing on Russia. And this is true, right? If you, it doesn't matter what's going on in the news. If you turn over to CNN, what you get is Trump Russia. And the reason is because CNN has pr been providing wish fulfillment for the far left for months now. The wish fulfillment is that Trump is going to get caught colluding with Russia. He'll somehow be ousted. As Sally Cohn says, we'll have a special election, then Hillary Clinton will be president. Okay, that's what CNN has been doing for literally months. This has been their agenda. It has raised their ratings. When there actually is news to break, then CNN's ratings are good. When there's no, no news to break and they're just spouting about Russia still, then there's not, like tonight, I think, CNN is supposed to be running a special about Trump, Russia, the big story. And it, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. And Bonnefeld is, is honest enough to admit that Although he probably wouldn't have admitted it if he knew he was on tape. Only responsible for breaking ACORN, the, the community organizing organization responsible for pushing left-wing agenda. James O'Keefe has now dropped a video of CNN senior producer John Bonifield. Uh, John Bonifield, I guess he's a senior health producer or something, but he's a senior producer talking candidly about CNN's treatment of the Trump administration generally and Trump-Russia collusion allegations specifically. And it's just spectacular stuff. Here is from James O'Keefe's Project Veritas, CNN producer John Bonifel basically acknowledging and agreeing that all of our preconceptions about CNN's bias and their agenda are exactly right. So you believe like the Russia thing's a little crazy, right? 
even if Russia was trying to swing an election, I, we try to swing their elections. We're in our CIA and doing it all the time. Like we're out there trying to manipulate governments. Like you win because you know the you you, you know the game and you play it right. She didn't play it right. The more seen and constantly like Russia this, Russia that. Because it's ratings. Because it's ratings. Our ratings are incredible right now. But honestly, you you think the whole Russia is just like bullshit? Could be bullshit. I mean, we, it's mostly right now. Like, we don't have any big giant proof. I just feel like they don't really have it.